Hey everybody, it's Steve. And if you're thinking about getting a new Gobo light, you could get something small and compact, like this 25 watt mini Gobo, or something larger, like this 100 watt 6 prism, or something even bigger, like this 160 watt 3 in 1. But if you want to go big, take a look at this beast. It's the Shed's 230 watt 7R, and it's a lot of light with a lot of colors, a lot of gobo patterns, and spoiler alert, as you'll see at the end of this video, it's not that expensive. In this video, I want to show what comes in the box, go through its professional features, look at its different functions in DMX channels, and finally, light up a stage with its awesome monster power. I actually have to unbox this thing on the floor because it's too big to fit up on my table. So it comes in this double corrugated box with this insert panel. And inside, there is a PowerCon connector cord. There's the manual. And these two quick lock connectors and the MX cable and the light itself, which is too big to really pull out of the box. You can see how big this thing is at over 20 inches tall and about 15 inches wide and weighing in just under 37 pounds. Its light source is an 8000K Osram 7R 230 watt lamp that's cooled by these fans and projecting through this coded three lens group for a beam angle between two and five degrees. And let's be clear, this thing is bright. How bright? Here's a section of a chart from Sheds comparing the output with their 100 watt and 160 watt gobos. On the back of the base, there's the regular DMX in and out jacks, on off switch and panel mount fuse and power con in and out jacks for daisy chaining your power. Looking at the front, there's DMX and error indicator lamps, and on the sides, these large carrying handles, which you're gonna need to move this guy around. And a few pro features that up the game are these locks, which click in place to secure the head when you're transporting it. Just make sure that you have them unlocked when you power it up. There's also this cool encoder rotary dial on the front that makes accessing the menu controls faster and easier. Now let's flip the switch and let it power up. And Shetz makes two versions of this light. This one is called the button version where you can access all the menu functions with this rotary dial. But they also make a second version that has the same rotary dial but that one has a larger touch screen for even easier control. On the startup page, you can see that it's in 16 channel mode. This shows the runtime and also the DMX starting address that you can see is at one, but you can go in and adjust that parameter by pushing the encoder and just spinning it until you hit the number that you want. Press it again to set it. In the next page, you can go into the different modes. It's in DMX mode now, but there's an auto mode. You can put it into a sound control mode. There's actually a variety of different scene modes. You can set it from master to auto to slave. And in this setting, you can turn the lamp on and off. On this page, you can change the language from English to Chinese. There's a screen saver that turns the screen off at different time intervals, depending on what mode you're in. Screen rotation allows you to invert the screen. DMX indicator mode. And also in this mode, you can change the brightness of the screen. On this page, you can go into the individual parameters and control them manually. So let's see, we'll go up to pan. And just by spinning 
the encoder. You can set the pan. We'll leave it at zero. In this advanced page, you can do things like invert the pan and tilt, offset the pan and tilt, etc. And then the last page is a stat page that shows you information such as the total runtime software version, etc. This light has either a 16 channel or a 20 channel DMX mode. And the 20 channel mode is just the same as the 16, but it adds speed controls for the pan tilt and color prism and gobo wheels. And I'm going to be controlling it using an app on my iPad called Vibrio. Channel 1 controls the color wheel, and here you can select 14 different colors in addition to split combinations of those colors, depending on the value that you send. And in the higher values, you can cycle through those colors from slow at the lower values to really fast at the higher values. Channel 2 controls a mechanical strobe function with different effects depending on the value that you're sending. Channel 3 controls a 16-bit mechanical dimmer. Channel 4 lets you choose from 17 different gobel patterns. In the higher values, you can rotate through the patterns really quickly counterclockwise. And then as you increase the values, slower. And then it's still higher values clockwise from slow to fast. And in the very highest values, you can shake each one of the patterns slow and fast, depending on the value that you send. Channel 5 turns on the honeycomb prism. And here's where the fun really starts because the prism combined with different gobo effects. Let's see, let's put on a shake effect. And combined with some color effects. You can really get some nice psychedelic looking patterns. Let's keep it there for a minute. When we go up to channel 6, you can rotate the prism. So you can rotate it to a set angle. Or in the higher values, you can spin it quickly counterclockwise. Then as you increase the values, spin it slowly. Higher values still, it spins clockwise, slow to fast. Let's turn some of that spinning off. Let's see, I'm also going to turn off the color wheel and the gobo. So when we come to channel 7, it's the mystery function because it does nothing. And then channel 8 turns on a function that the manual calls frost, but it's different than other frost effects that I've seen. It's actually more of a color filter that adds this seven color rainbow effect. But it looks pretty cool when you combine it with some of the color wheels. And then when you add gobo effects, you get all kinds of crazy stuff happening. We'll turn that off. Let's turn the frost off. Turn the gobo effect off. I'm going to also turn the prism off just to show you that channel 9 is a focus. 
channel 10 is pan fine pan on channel 11 tilt on channel 12 fine tilt on channel 13 and then on channel 14 the manual says that this controls pan and tilt speed but it's actually a function where you can go in let me tilt this down and it calls up different preset effects depending on what value you're sending which is actually nice because you can instantly get different effects just on this one channel by sending it different values and then channel 15 is a reset and channel 16 turns the light on and off this big guy is very bright with a powerful beam and lots of features, but it's really cost effective. As of August 2022, you can get one for $312 with free shipping to the US at the link below. Let's fire it up again and see what it looks like going through its paces with the Hazer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.